I want to ask you, I finally jump into you know, what she's doing. I want to know what I need to do to stay on focus, on track, and stay motivated, you know, To me, every the, day. In, generally? Yes, uh, she blogs about food, she develops food recipes yep. and everything, and uh, she's But you're to... asking for you, how you stay focused? Yes. Look, I think, listen, some of you have heard this from me, this is such a big one for me. I've said it in a funny setting, and I've said it other times, I just really wish people knew that they were gonna die. <laughs> Devin, like, how can you not stay motivated? Do you know that the odds of becoming a human being are 400 trillion to one? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, great. Sit on that shit for a minute. <laughs> like, we are so unbelievably lacking perspective and are so not grateful for what's happening here. We so focus on negativity and shit that's bothering us we need to spend way more time on optimism and good and all the good things that are happening. That will motivate, the, I am completely driven by gratitude. Every true day that I don't get a text or phone call that somebody I love died or has terminal illness, I'm fucking pumped. So it's perspective, Deb. Like, the fuck do you have to complain about? <laughs> no, I don't complain. I want to make sure I'm moving from the industry that I was in yep. into what she's doing because she has become very it's, successful. It's regret, man. Like, you don't want to be 80 sitting and saying, fuck, I spoke to Gary, my wife did it, this happened, and I didn't do shit. What the fuck? Let's, let me, listen, I'm going to give you guys a huge, huge, unbelievable hack. One day, one hour, go and volunteer in a nursing home. It is the great move that everybody here can do. First of all, it's just nice to do that. And you give back and it's tremendous and it's unbelievably impactful. Number two, thank you. Number two, you will get way more because you're gonna see something that you haven't seen in such a pure state. It's called regret. You will face regret in a way that will fuck with you so hard that you will stay focused and on track for the rest of your fucking life. The Fine. number one thing that you will taste if you go to a nursing home is you will find multiple people that will talk to you about regrets in a way that will pierce your soul in a way that you've never felt before because they're actually in that place where time has run out. And it will make you go back home and start cooking for the first time, starting a video, running, like you'll start doing shit that you've been pondering for the last decade after one hour of giving back, putting karma points in the bag, and it will be hugely beneficial for you. So please, please, please consider that. What should these guys be doing for the next 48 hours so they don't have regrets? That's a great question. So the reason I think these things are good have nothing to do with the content on this stage. This is the number one time to start putting your introvert self on the shelf to expand your ability to network. This is 100% ROI successful for you if you legitimately go up to people you've never seen before in your life, say hello, and ask them what they're about. This is only about networking. Like, you should actually all leave and come to none of the talks going forward. Except for mine. <clears throat> Including his, and network the whole time. I'm serious, that's the, guys, the, the, all the real magic is, you know, with the best talk of the conference, with the third best talk of the conference, all of that stuff, <laughs> all of that stuff is so stunningly secondary to you getting five to seven to 15 relationships here. And let me tell you something, karma is practical. I just said it in my last little thing, doing the right thing for CJ. It's just super smart to do shit that has no expectation in return or anything to do. We're in a world where a lot of thoughts of collaborations and things you do, you're thinking about what comes to you after you do. Giving without expectation has been one of the core pillars of my success.